These were my favorite overalls, but they are looking pretty dingy and stained, so it's time to give them a new chance at life by tie-dyeing them. The first step in all successful tie-dyes is to soak them in soda ash. Here's what I use. The general rule is you want one cup per gallon of water, but I never measure. Just throw some in there. I like to leave mine soaking for 10 to 30 minutes. With these, I'm kind of limited in what I can do for designs because the fabric is super thick, so I'm not going to be able to get super detailed. But what I decided to do was I'm going to put a peace sign on one leg and a heart on the other and make them peace and love overalls. So I'm starting with the heart and what you just saw me do was just find the center of that first leg so that the heart's in the middle. They are folded in half, so all I have to do is outline half of a heart and you want to make sure that you use a washable marker. Now you just want to accordion fold or pleat along that line, trying to make it as straight as possible. It's definitely going to be more difficult with denim than just a t-shirt because it's thicker, but just do your best. To tie that up, I'm using a type of string called artificial sinew. It has a wax coating on it, so when you tie it super tightly, it'll leave a white line under it. Some of these are better than others, so I'll put the link to the one I use in the description. When using this, you want to pull it tight, and I mean as tight as you possibly can if your arms are not sore after you did not do it tight enough. Here's what my heart looks like when it's all tied up and now it's time to do the peace sign. I kind of underestimated how hard it would be to do the peace sign on such thick fabric. So you're definitely gonna see me struggle with it a little bit in this video, but if you want an actual tutorial on how I do the peace sign, I'll link my video below. So yeah, for the sake of time, I'm not going to include a full tutorial on the peace sign in this video, but to give you an idea of what I'm doing, I drew, drew out a line at 60 degrees, and now I'm folding my fabric according to the line. I know it does not seem like it, but these three folds are what's going to make the three legs of the peace sign. It doesn't really make sense until you unfold it, but, but you gotta trust the process. I'm going to speed through the rest of me trying to do a peace sign on these, um, but like I said, if you want to see the tutorial, I'll link it. In real time, I had to redo that tons of times, and I think it took me an hour just to get the peace sign, just because the fabric is so thick. Okay, so now the hard part is done and all we have to do is scrunch up the background and hold it in place. To do that, I'm using this string that was specially made for tie-dye. I will link it below just like everything else. That was definitely harder than I thought it was going to be to tie this up, but now it's time to dye it. In this video, I'm trying something that I never ever do, and that is ice dyeing. Typically, I am a liquid dyer only, but as you can see here, ice dye is the process of putting ice on the shirt and then sprinkling your powder dye over the ice so that when the ice melts, it gives it a cool effect as the dye turns into liquid and goes into the shirt. The dye I'm using is called Fiber Reactive Dye, and most of it is from Dharma Trading Company. You can see all of the color names here in the video that I'm using. Oh yeah, and I should mention that the goal is to get kind of a gradient from a nice deep purple to a really bright blue. Then I put it out in the sun to melt. You want to wait until the ice completely melts and then you want to let the shirt set for about 24 hours before washing it out. 
Now begins the long process of washing out all of the dye. Because these are so thick and it's not just, you know, a thin t-shirt, it takes forever because it's just loaded with dye. Also, blue dyes are notoriously one of the hardest dyes to wash out. So I probably shouldn't have used so much blue in my first ice dye, but I think it'll be worth it. So here I am unraveling that heart that we made. As you can see, because I tied it so tight, there's a white line outlining the heart. So that came out good, I'm happy with that part. As I'm recording this, I realized that I totally forgot to record the peace sign part, but you'll see it in the final reveal after this. So here was the before, and here's the after. I was honestly scared that I was going to ruin them, but I'm super happy with the result. In the next clip, I'll show you a close-up of that peace sign and heart. The peace sign definitely isn't perfect, but that's the best I could do given the thick fabric, and I'd consider it a success. <laughs>